What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Today, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be working on the tailgate. So yesterday we picked this up from the painters. We got the last of the trim pieces that we needed. So now that we've got the uh, tailgate, we have the last piece to the puzzle for the exterior of the car. Then it'll be a complete full car. So what I'm gonna do today, cause I'm by myself anyways, I can't lift the tailgate and put it on by myself, which sucks. So I will just assemble it. So uh, the trim piece is like the spoiler that goes at the top here. I'm gonna wrap that. And the trim piece that goes back here, I'm gonna wrap that too. So I'm gonna wrap those in a 5D carbon fiber. So in my opinion, it, it's the closest thing to looking like real life, like real carbon fiber. So we're gonna give it a go. And we might even compare it next to some real carbon fiber and have a look at it. So I reckon we get into that. Ooh, also we have the burnout bumper with us. So, and on this one, we didn't like prepare it insanely for it to be perfect. We didn't, uh, we didn't use the wet on wet primer because I literally just wanted to have it in color so we can whack it on for when we're doing skids. So if it's gonna melt or burn or anything, this one doesn't matter cause it's in really bad condition and it was really cheap. But because we didn't use the wet on wet primer, you can see there is literally no orange peel in it or next to an orange peel in it. So, I'll pull it outside and we'll look at it because you get a glimpse of pretty much how the wagon's gonna look once we get it all buffed and cut and polished and all that stuff. So let's take it outside. So it sucks that there's no, no sun out right now, but look at that reflection. This is like, I don't, I'm not even gonna freaking touch this, not even gonna polish it, not gonna nothing. It's just ready to go straight on the car. So yeah, when we uh, painted this, it was really good to see that it came out like this. Because obviously with the way that most of the car turned out, especially on like the bumpers and stuff, it did get quite a bit of orange peel on it. So we didn't know if it was a product, we didn't know if it was the prep, we didn't know if it was the painting itself that had the issue. We couldn't quite put our finger on it. So it's really good to see that like we were, we did have an inkling it was the wet on wet primer. We did spray it in the ratio we were told to spray it, but we probably should have thinned it out a little bit Either way, it doesn't matter. It just means we've got a little bit more work ahead of us now, which does not bother me really. But yeah, it's good to see that it wasn't the painting, it wasn't the preparation. It was just because the primer was a little bit thicker. And I guess, yeah, we probably should have thinned it down, but it's not the end of the world. So now that I've had a look at that, uh, yeah, let's get into uh, vinyl wrapping these pieces because I want to see them on the tailgate. And then also I will remove this windscreen wiper because I hate the look of the windscreen wipers on the, on the rear tailgates. So let's get into it. So like always, bit of wax and grease remover or prep sole on a clean rag. You want to make sure that all surfaces are clean because you want it to stick for a long term. You don't want it to bubble up or anything. Ooh, I might have to sand this back. There's a bit of a bubble in that. Bit of wax and grease remover on every surface so you know the wrap will stick. That will be good. I'll, I'll let it dry just so there's no wetness or anything to it. But being wax and grease remover, it flashes off pretty quick. And then we'll take them inside and we'll wrap these bad boys. Alrighty, so I'm just flattening out the vinyl at the moment because it came rolled up really tight. So it has a little bit of tunneling in it and stuff. You can see it's lifting from here, but it should be fine. So just, just flattening it out a bit and then I'll peel it. I'll heat the whole thing so that it's all flat and then we'll stick her on. So let's give her a go. So this product does have a cap on it too. So it's a like a plastic sheet over the top that you can peel off afterwards. So, First, we'll uh, just heat her up. You can see all the tunneling from where it was rolling. It's not gonna help while it's got the plastic backing on it. I don't have a squeegee. I'll get a squeegee. Lads, so how's this? Freaking two fail videos in a row. Ugh. Don't buy cheap products on eBay. I should have learned the first time when I tried to do this years ago, but do do not buy a vinyl wrap on eBay. See, if you look, if you, oh no, there's a bad bit there. If you look right there, right here, there's there's a good spot. Oh no, there's a bad spot there. If you come out, just look at this junk. Look, like it doesn't contour, like, don't buy junk on eBay. It just breaks hearts. This is the second time I wrapped this piece. I did this piece too. It says that it's air release. It ain't releasing no air. You can hear in the background, just watching some uh, Adam LZ, but don't buy junk products. Learn, learn from my mistakes. Don't buy cheap wrap. Now I've got to be the silly guy that pays twice to do it right, which then costs more than if I just bought the right product in the first place. I mean, like, I would say that I'm disappointed, but 
I mean, what do you get when you buy cheap products? This wrap was really cheap, really hard to work with. And this is the second time I did this piece because the first time I did this piece, I tried to heat it and it just didn't work. I should have known not to touch it, but yeah, two fails in a row. How, how, how good's that? First, the headliner didn't want to work the way that I wanted it to. Now this vinyl wrap is just crappy and shitty. Oh. On a roll, boys, on an absolute roll. Alrighty, on that note, I think it's time for lunch. I'm feeling Subway, so I'm gonna run out and go get some food. Ah, oh, boys, this sucks. Why can't we get any wins on this? Ah, oh, I just wanna freaking look cool. Stop freaking being crappy. Oh, actually I should probably remove this before Indy gets home. She always cleans the table and I always fill it up with car crap, so. Apologies, Indy, if you're watching this, I know you're not watching this, no one tell her that I did this on the table, but yeah, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna hide all the, the evidence that I did this now, and uh, yeah, we'll get food. Alrighty guys, so I didn't actually realize how long I'd spent on those, because I was trying my heart out to wrap them properly, and it just wasn't giving it to me. So I didn't realize how long I spent on that, and it looks like I have to wrap the video up now so I can edit it and upload it so you guys have it in time. So yeah, that will be the end of this video, even though it is yet another bad outcome and we didn't get quite what we were looking for. I'm not even gonna, like, I can't call this a how-to video or like how to wrap in carbon fiber. It's like how to fail with a crappy product. How to set yourself up for failure pretty much. So don't buy cheap vinyl off eBay. Don't do it. You're gonna, have, it, it's just gonna be a bad time. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for, t for today's video. Uh, in the next video, I don't know what we're gonna do, but hopefully it's a win. Hopefully it's something that we're actually gonna be successful with. Um, and hopefully we have some good news on the engine and stuff soon. Um, maybe this is just me subliminally pulling my hair out, getting angry because, uh, just, yeah, I'm sick of waiting and everything like that, but I'm impatient and I wanna do skids. And I know you guys wanna see skids. So hopefully that'll come soon. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be Wednesday at 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging, there's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper, got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat, I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm